Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight I figured I'd just sit down and share with you some of the things that I picked up from Sephora. I absolutely love Sephora and right now they're having their spring sale. Um, Rouge members get 20% off, which you already know. <laughs> you already know all that Rouge status. So uh, it's just... Um yeah, we won't talk about it. And if you're of a different tier, then definitely, you know, whatever it is, save those coins. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, we already spent a lot of money in Sephora anyway. Might as well save a few coins where you can. So I'm just going to be sharing with you some of the things that I picked up. So I'm going to start off this video by sharing with you some of the things that I already own and have been using for years from Sephora um, that I think you really like. And obviously I have a lot of recommendations, so it won't be everything that I own that I love, you know, but I, I want to say my top five to six things or so that I, I've, I've really enjoyed. Um, also some things that I've sampled that I, I picked up that I think you'll like as well. And also some things that I'm trying out for the very first time. So I have a, a bunch of goodies. I hope that you stay tuned to find out what I picked up. So to start, if you watched my last video, you already know that I've really been into my self-care Sunday moments, okay? And usually what I do um, is I steam my face. Now there are a bunch of steamers out there that I'm sure you can use. You can find a bunch on Amazon. However, this one from Dr. Dennis Gross, you can find at Sephora. And I don't think you'll ever have to buy another one. It sends out such a spa-like steam uh, it really feels official like you feel like you're in a legit spa okay and I just really enjoy it I mean it's you know water steam that comes out and it's just so good I love it because it's just high quality and yes it is a little bit expensive but now is a great time to pick up things that are kind of on the pricier side because you can get that discount it's the perfect addition to your like at home spa treatment. This little compartment back here is where you put the water and you just shut it in and that's it. You plug it in obviously and then you just turn it on and you are just getting like full blast steam. It's awesome. It's amazing. I love it. I've had this for a few years now and no complaints on my end. So I really recommend this. This is one of the things that I think is great to pick up during a sale because you can save just that much more coin. I absolutely love this. I probably will, if this ever breaks, I probably will replace it. That's just to tell you how much I love it. Another favorite of mine that I absolutely recommend is this mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this because it picks up so much product on this wand. And look at this wand. I don't know if it, it's showing you too well. And my camera's been bugging out. So I don't know if you can see this. But it just picks up so much product on this tip. And it's so easy to apply. It's a very big wand. So it's very easy to get all your lashes at once. It's called the Leg uh, Legendary lashes volume two and i just think these give you the perfect lashes actually this is the mascara i wore today so i absolutely love this this is like my third tube and i seriously probably will never go without another favorite of mine are these fenty beauty bronzers i absolutely love them because they're so smooth they're not um chalky or anything there's so many shades for so many different colors you can use them as contour and as bronzers as well as like eyeshadow colors you know they're just amazing they're really great quality I Another favorite is this cream from Fresh, the Lotus Youth Preserve. This stuff will have you feeling like you're in a complete spa. I mean, it smells like cucumbers. It feels so soothing and so smooth on your face. I think you should give it a try. Definitely, Sephora might give you samples. I'm not sure if they're back to that yet, but if they are, definitely pick up a sample and see how this works out for you because I highly recommend it. Next, I picked up, if you saw my last video, you would have seen that I sprayed this spray. It's the Way Melrose Place. Now, one thing I have to say is it's kind of like I use it like a body splash. And um, it's not very long lasting. Like, no, that's not something you're going to smell throughout the day and, and all day. But it is something you can retouch up on and respray and I really love it I love 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 the scent of this and I am on this is actually my second bottle while we're on fragrances I just mentioned the next fragrance that I picked up is from a brand called clean and the, the scent that I use is called skin 
<laughs> and oddly enough, this scent, I don't know if it smells like skin, but it's amazing. Okay, can I just tell you? It's amazing. Like, it's so beautiful. It's floral, but not really floral. It's like sweet, but not overly sweet. It's just perfection in a bottle, okay? That's what it is. And I have actually used um, two different kinds. The one that I have opened, this is actually my second bottle because I love it that much. I, I spray it that much. I spray it that much that I'm already on my second bottle and I haven't purchased the first bottle that long ago. Just randomly one day decided to test it out, liked it in the store, and then just completely fell in love with it. Like, I want to have another backup because I know this one is not going to last that long. Um, but like I said, use your discount. Now is a great time to purchase things like perfumes that are always like so crazy expensive for no reason. And um, yeah, this is one that I highly recommend. I think you'll really, really like this. It's, really, it's so hard not to like, but you know what? Fragrances are so subjective that, you know, it's um, I can make a recommendation for something that I absolutely am crazy about and you could like turn around and hate it. So um, definitely go to Sephora, get you that sample if they do samples and or, you know, at least get let them test it out on you so you can see for yourself. But this, you know, Mother's Day is coming up, birthdays for whoever and, you know, someone special in your life. I think you should try it think you should try it I think you'll absolutely love it and they will love you for it so definitely just give it a try next I picked up a beauty blender I absolutely love beauty blenders because they're just so they make the makeup application just so much more smooth and airbrush like and you know these things harbor germs so we're not supposed to keep them forever and yeah we can wash them and reuse them but after a while you do need to throw them out they're not intended for a lifetime use so they are expensive they're like twenty dollars for one i know um but they get me with the colors i ain't gonna lie to you like i have one in every color and probably several in some colors so this is a new color that came out this spring it's the uh, bio pure I don't know plant-based um, well 60% plant-based um, beauty blender so I'm anxious to give this a try and see how different it is from the average beauty blender and see if uh, there's any big difference um, hopefully the color doesn't run because that wouldn't be good but I mean the other ones that I have that you know, our colored beauty blenders, they haven't run or anything like that. So um, um, I picked this up and I think this is a really cute color. So a shampoo that I've been using lately is this one from Kerastase. It is the, uh, I don't speak any kind of French, so I'm about to butcher this. It's the K-Genesis. I'm not even going to try. It's just basically look for the pink bottle fortifying shampoo, okay? It smells really good. This is a brand new bottle that I just purchased because my, my bottle is almost finished and I've gone through actually this and a whole, I can't even show you because my Sephora was completely out of the, um, the conditioner. So I had to end up ordering it online. So unfortunately, I don't have it here to show you. But this is actually a really great product. Uh, I'm a nurse, so my hair is always back and up and off my shoulders. And I brush the hell out of it, I ain't gonna lie. So I um have been using this. I really love the smell. It's just amazing. It's like a soft kind of um baby powder-ish. I mean I hate to say baby powder because baby powder has a unique scent and it's very strong. But this is not that. This is kind it's kind of florally but it's kind of soft and a little baby powder esque in the back. Okay, but just go check it out for yourself. I am a person that loves fragrance and loves smells and loves to smell good. So, um, yeah, if you don't like anything scented, then you probably won't like this. But I really like it. Even the feel of it, it just feels really good. Um, putting it in my hair and washing the lather is nice. It washes out nicely. It doesn't dry out my hair or anything like that. I hate shampoos that make you feel like your hair is like all knotted afterwards and just super dry and matted feeling. I hate that. So this definitely doesn't do this. Kerastase is a very high quality brand. Again, something that's not going to be inexpensive, but with the discount, you know, you already know. 
So this next product is something that I actually got, this one over here, is something I actually got as a sample from Sephora a while back. And I've forever had it on my radar because it's got little tiny bubbles in it and it's, it's a liquid collagen. It says it restores bounce and resilience and softness to the skin and I loved it in the sample so I always had it on my radar and I was like that's it. The next sale I'm definitely picking it up and when I went to pick it up I mean it's kind of expensive it's like a hundred something dollars so I was actually reaching for it and the salesperson says to me what are you doing don't you know we have an entire like gift box with two other products for the same price of just this alone so I was like okay that works so I never actually gave the other products a try but this is really just all I wanted this stuff right here this stuff alone it just feels like caviar you're rubbing it on your face it feels really luxurious I enjoyed it so much that I wanted the full bottle and I finally got my hands on it so this is something I'll definitely be using um, every day during my skincare it just feels so good it says after cleansing and toning apply to entire face neck and decolletage for optimum results follow with a moisturizer so you can apply moisturizer I don't know if you can see my camera's been bugged out lately but there's a bunch of little tiny bubbles in there and it's a really cool feeling when you um, apply this to your face. Next and last from things that I've already tried that I recommend are these two products from Ola Hendrickson. This one over here is the Transforming Walnut Scrub. Love, love, love. Okay, like this is my third bottle and I squeeze the crap out of whatever is in there. I get every drop out because that's how much I'm obsessed with this. Using this scrub before doing like a makeup application will just give you like new skin. Okay, so sorry about that. So I was saying that the Ole Henriksen, Ole Henriksen uh, Walnut Scrub is amazing. It is a more coarse scrub. So if you're someone that doesn't like to use anything abrasive on your face, this is, is it's kind of one of the higher tiered ones. <laughs> so... Definitely be careful and um, yeah, if you're looking for something more subtle, more gentle, this one won't be for you. The other product from Ole Henriksen that I absolutely love is this Wonderfield Double Cleanser. If you're looking for a new face wash that's super creamy, super luxurious, just so soft and it's thick and you like that kind of feeling, I, which I love. Um, this double cleanser is amazing. I've, I've loved it. I've used a whole tube of this. This is my second one and I've been trying to kind of use up other products that I have in the meantime before I open this one because I know I'm just gonna, I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. And the reason I do still try out other things is because you never know what you're gonna love just that much more, you know? So if you don't try new things, then you never find out about them. Next, I'm going to get into some of the things I'm trying out for the first time, and I do have quite a few. So. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is from Dr. Dennis Gross. It's their Universal Daily Peel, and I've been hearing everybody rave, rant, and rave about how this is so great for, like, helping with you know pores which I have really large pores and you know textured skin which I really seem to suffer from so I've been waiting and stalking this forever waited for the sale to pick it up so I don't know how it works because of course these are things I'm trying out for the first time but I had to pick this up because I'm tired of hearing about it and if it works that great then I need to have it of course try the Olaplex which is another thing that I've been hearing so much about so I picked up the number seven bonding oil I don't know if I'm really crazy about the whole line. Like, I've used the shampoo in the past. I've used the conditioner. With my hair type, I don't know. I, maybe I should give it another shot. But the bottles are, like, this big. Like, why are the bottles so small? Like, who are you expecting to get two washes out of that from? Like, nobody. So, um, and I also wanted to try this Olaplex intensive bond building hair treatment it says it primes repairs strengthens and protects all hair types so i guess we'll see you know there's like a whole system they have it seems kind of i don't know a lot of the ha hairstylists like really recommend it and that's who i first heard of this from um a stylist that i went to was actually using this on my hair and it, i mean it looked good that day so i was like you know what maybe i should give it a shot so 
Um, I picked these two up and we'll see how these go. I picked up this uh, Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum from Fresh. I see a makeup artist painted by Spencer was using this on a client. So I was like, oh, let me give that a shot. And it's really cool looking. I mean, I have oily skin. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this for me. But we'll see. If it doesn't work out, then I could always like use it on clients with dry skin. Um, so shake well to mix the water and oil and lightly pat onto face with Tom's use daily morning and night I'll probably only use it at night because like I said I have oily skin by the end of the day like I look like I straight fried chicken on my face it's that oily so I will not be using this in the daytime and it says that it wants you to follow with a moisturizer on top of it so remember i already recommended to you there the fresh um face cream is amazing i like to practice out with things at nighttime because you know it just seems to work out better for me that way next i picked up the huda beauty um cream full filter skin finish it's a buildable coverage foundation stick and I picked up the shade Tres Leches, which is my favorite dessert, by the way. Absolutely love it. It's so good. Um, and I don't want to rip this because if this is the wrong shade, which I, I doubt it will be because I have this foundation in the, the liquid. And let me just rip it. And it works out amazing. That's a really like high coverage foundation. And I love it. And it's very long lasting. So this is what this looks like. And I think this will be fun to use. It reminds me of the Hourglass um, Stick Foundation, which is another good one. So I wanted to see how it compares to that other one and see if it's any better or worse or if it's, you know, as good as they say it is. Um, but yeah, so I picked that up. So I picked up a few things from Fenty. I picked up their Ease Drop Foundation, which everybody has been ecstatic about lately. On Sephora's website, it matched me with shade 11. So when I got there, I saw shade 11. I'm like, what the heck? There's no way I'm shade 11. So I picked up shade 9. We'll see how that goes. The Soft Matte Powder Foundation from Fenty. And I'm really anxious for this because even in the store, like I took a little swatch of it. Um, it started out being one color and then it oxidized even as a powder to something a little deeper so I went a little lighter I picked up shade 290 and I'm really excited to do a little um, all Fenty products get ready with me so I'll definitely um, try out these products that I have um, and if you follow me on Instagram you know I already posted about this uh, gloss balm cream the pink shade and a nude shade of course I bought this for the nude shade which is called cupcake in and let me open it to see what these look like. <clears throat> this one is really like a bubblegum pink. And it's really pretty. And this actually, now that I'm taking a look at it, does not look nude at all. Let's do a swatch. Why not? Yeah, this is definitely mauve. It's definitely mauve. Let's see. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed about that. Because... That completely is not what I thought this was going to be. Okay guys, so I'm sorry I've been having camera issues this entire time. I'm just trying new positioning with the camera and adding more lights in here. I don't know what the issue is. This is super frustrating. So anyway, getting back to the things I was sharing with you guys. And um, next I picked up, this is something I heard like a YouTuber talking about, I forgot who. But it's called Necessaire the Body Wash. And it's from a company that claims this body wash is a daily multivitamin cleanser for skin health. So, you just, you know, use it like a regular body wash, and it's in the scent Eucalyptus, which I like Eucalyptus. Um, I love nice body washes in the shower. So, let's see. Oh, it comes with the little, like, squeeze top. So, let me just see what this smells like. Oh, I bet it smells like Eucalyptus. It's kind of strong, strong eucalyptus scent. So we'll see if this does anything for my skin. I don't know about that, but uh, it claims to, doesn't claim to do anything. 
just a daily multivitamin cleanser for skin health. Apply all over body, massage into rich foam, rinse well. Okay, great. So we'll see how that works out. The next product I picked up is from Tatcha. I really wanted to try out their Violet C Radiant Mask. So I am anxious to do this. I actually think my next um, Self Care Sunday I'll use all Tatcha products because I have quite a few of them. And this is just another one that I like to add on. But this mask is great for brightening and adds vitamin C to the skin, which is always good. Um, it says that it, it has seven mild AHA fruit acids which turn over dull uneven skin and help to improve clarity and I need that so I picked that up I also picked up one of the Tatcha masks and this is the luminous dewy skin mask and I thought this was a dry skin mask I think it is um, but yeah, I'm anxious to try this out. I'll actually probably do a little video using all Tatcha products and doing my self-care Sundays. I wanted to try out this new um, cream from Sol de Janeiro. It's called Bomdia Bright Cream. Retexturizing body cream that nourishes as it reveals healthier, smoother, brighter looking skin. So this was a new fragrance that I just happened to stumble across when I went into Sephora. So I was like, hmm, I wonder what that's like. And they didn't have a sample, so I couldn't even smell it. So I'm going to smell it right here on camera for you. Mmm, this is actually... I like it much better than... Let me try out a little bit to see how moist it is. I actually like it better than the other two. And I thought I really loved those. So this one is even nicer. Ooh, and it's same texture as the other two. Very moisturizing. Mmm, this smells so much better than the other two. The other two are kind of like... Well, I can't say the other two. The yellow one, that one is kind of juvenile. It's kind of like high school, you know? But this is mature and not overly mature but it's definitely got a level of sophistication um more than the other ones the other ones are literally like on the beach vibe teeny bopper kind of smell you know um so the next product i picked up is the charlotte tilbury air bronzer airbrush bronzer and i wanted to try this even though i have the fancy bronzers that i really love and i'm really committed to using them this one just got some really great reviews and i'm so anxious to see what this will do for my skin because like i said i have textured skin from charlotte tilbury you know the powder that everybody's using that they're applying under the eyes they really recommend it because they're like oh that's it this is gonna make you look like awake all day and you're not gonna have any issues with like dehydration under the eyes it's a soft like focus powder so I really love my Laura Mercier I use that I use a bunch of different other ones too sometimes just whatever I grab but mostly grab the Laura Mercier like that one I run out of a lot um but I am looking forward to trying this this is a pressed powder I don't know with all the lights on in here if you can see I picked up shade number two and um it does look like it's gonna go well with my skin tone so I'll let you know how this goes and maybe I'll use it on camera for the first time um, since now I have these two new um, Charlotte Tilbury products and last I have two new lip glosses that I wanted to try the first one is from a brand called Kaja again here I am like <laughs> looking for a nude I love nude glosses nude you know anything so this one's kind of like a pinky nude but it's got some speckles in it I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because of the lighting situation in here but it's really pretty this is in the shade milk tea and I actually follow a youtuber who recommended this and I don't remember who recommended what that's terrible um but okay so and then this other one I just happened to come across while I was in Sephora is from Natasha Denona which I love her stuff and this is a lip gloss in the shade nude so yeah I'm sorry if the lighting is terrible and you can't really see really everybody raves about this Tom Ford Soleil de Blanc um, but this one is Soleil Tom Ford Soleil Blanc so I got the shimmering body oil. I did pick up the, I think this is the travel size version. 
a 1.5 fluid ounce and let's see if this thing really works i mean or really even smells good like everybody talks about how great it smells and this and that so let's see definitely see how this is like such a vibe you know but let's see shimmering body oil mm -hmm. okay it's not like smells gentle that's what I would describe this sentence gentle subtle maybe you have to give it some time I don't know I don't know I love the bottle the packaging alone is so cute um, so yeah so that's pretty much everything I picked up from um, Sephora this go around um, Sephora always takes my money. They always do. They do it every time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me and have enjoyed some of the things that I recommended as well as um, maybe got some ideas for something you want to put on your list for either this sale or the next sale. And yeah, so until next time, bye.